Welcome to 37 Days of Prayer, Day 9. Our scripture is Daniel 11, verses 32 and 33. This is what it says. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. So in the era of free overnight shipping, in commercial free streaming, and in global connectivity, right there at our fingertips, we as a culture have successfully created systems that eliminate the inconvenience of discomfort and desperation. And to be honest, I think spiritual life is not much different. We have formulas for church, formulas for discipleship, formulas for evangelism and for all kinds of things. But when I look at scripture, I have to ask the question why God does not give us a formula for pretty much everything. And I think that's because he knew men would become dependent on the formula and not on him. He wants us to know him. And when we read these stories in scripture, or when we read the stories of church history, the miracles and the revivals and the desperate desire we might have to see these things in our lives, we have to ask the question, what made that happen? It's not a formula. It was wholehearted desperation, a discomfort, a dependence. It was a heart like Moses in Exodus 33 when he says, we will not go out of here unless your presence goes with us. It seems that nothing is as painful as slowing down, taking time to pray, learning to hear God for ourselves and knowing God. We cannot live a life of dependence though when we are living a life that's full of distraction. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good devotional, I love a good theology podcast or a sermon, but none of those things will ever replace knowing God for myself. And I do that through hours of prayer, seeking, listening, and being in His Word. The people of God who know their God shall be strong in the face of corruption and flattery, and they are the ones who will do great and amazing things. This season of prayer is making you strong and it's empowering you for action because you are cultivating your personal relationship with God. So don't give up, keep going. Let's pray. We want to know you, God. We want to know you desperately, so please guide us into the relationship that makes us strong. Fill us with the knowledge of you so that we act with boldness and we can do great and amazing things. In your name we pray, amen.